In this video, I'm going to be giving you what I would say is the best Blitz in Madden 23 right now. There's a lot of reasons um, as to why I believe that this is one of the better Blitzes in the game, if not the best Blitz in the game. But the primary reason is because of the fact that you can actually get pretty much guaranteed double-edge pressure while only sending five at your opponent, meaning they're going to have to block both a running back and a tight end to be able to pick this up. Now, if you're new to the channel, and uh, my name is Cody, we do videos every single day to help people become better Madden players. If you want to get my full um, Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook, we're in the 46th playbook today, taking a look at that formation. You can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks by joining uh, the Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, that's where, again, you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks over there. Uh, but like I said, we're going to be taking a look today at some pressure out of the big nickel over G. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go auto flip off. We're going to go auto alignment to base, and we're going to go zone coverage to match. Now, you can leave your auto flip on if you want. You just need to be prepared for your safeties to sometimes flip. Um, and that's why I don't run it like that. I like to run pinch blitz with auto flip off. And um, the only setup is we're going to show blitz. We're going to pinch our defensive line. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You can stand right here. And if the running back goes in a route, you're going to want to shoot out to the flat. As you can see, we're going to get this double edge pressure. Now, I just put out a massive update to my Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook, teaching you how to run this defense at a super high level with specific adjustments and things like that that I've been doing. We actually went into uh, some film analysis of a couple game plays that I've had recently against different meta formations on how to use this defense. At a really high level, there's a lot of things that you can do with Big Nickel over G. Um, I love the flexibility. I love how we can be in coverage one play and we can be in pressure the next play, and the opponent would never know. You know that they, they, everything looks the same. We teach you how to do that um, in the ebook. But the beauty of this blitz is that you can send five, and let's say that we want to protect ourselves over the middle. We can drop one of these defense alignment into a bluff blitz or into some kind of pass coverage. And so what you'll see here is the pressure is still going to come off of the edge at the quarterback. So much so that even if they block a running back, a lot of times this five-man pressure will still be able to come completely free. Um, we'll show it to you here. They're going to block the running back. You see the pressure comes right off the right edge. The beauty of Big Clover G is, again, from the same alignment, you're going to be able to really threaten both edges uh, with your defense. And if you really wanted to, you could even bring the safety down and try to threaten them that way. But I love this defense um, for the current offensive meta because a lot of people are liking to block the running back, but you're going to be able to basically force them out of being able to block the running back with this. We teach you a couple of little different variations of this in the update that we just put out on our Patreon. Um, there's some other things that you can do also from this that I think is interesting from a, just a basic alignment. You can do something like this. Um, and as you can see, you just see how fast the pressure comes uh, off of the edge. And then again, you could be in the same exact look, but now we're going to be in a complete you know, coverage style defense. You hear, so everybody's going to be manned up, and then you're just lurking over the middle, primarily focusing on any kind of running back angle route or something like that. This defense is super simple, but man, it is super effective, and um, it's been what I've been using a lot to get a lot of stops. Defense is getting harder every single week, and really what makes a defense is having not only a good blitz, but having the ability to send a blitz, and then they start blocking seven, and now we're going to have everybody in coverage because they've been blocking seven. So now you see that this is going to be incredible coverage if they're only able to send three people out. So this defense is super adaptable. If you want to learn how to run the Big Nickel over G at the highest level, I'd really encourage you to get into the Patreon. We cover match coverage. We cover zone coverage, man coverage. We cover how to handle when your safeties flip, how to prevent them from flipping. We handle um, how to stop the run out of every formation. Everything is in that Big Nickel over G ebook. I think we've done four different updates to it, and all of them have been long. This last one was a 45-minute update. I'm walking you through everything that I'm doing right now out of Big Nick Over G. So if you want to check all that stuff out, you get everything by being a Patreon member. It's only $10 to become a member. So if you want to check it out, head down to the description below and click the link down below.